Buddhism in Vietnam, Dao Phat or Phat Gao in Vietnamese, as practiced by the ethnic Vietnamese, is mainly of the Mahayana tradition. Buddhism may have first come to Vietnam as early as the 3rd or 2nd century BCE from South Asia or from China in the 1st or 2nd century CE. Vietnamese Buddhism has had a syncretic relationship with certain elements of Taoism, Chinese spirituality and the Vietnamese folk religion. History Dynastic period There are conflicting theories regarding whether Buddhism first reached Vietnam during the 3rd or 2nd century BCE via delegations from India, or during the 1st or 2nd century from China. In either case, by the end of the 2nd century CE, Vietnam had developed into a major regional Mahayana Buddhist center centering on Lui Lao in modern Bac Ninh province, northeast of the present-day capital city of Hanoi. Lui Lao was the capital of the Han region of Zhao Ji and was a popular place visited by many Indian Buddhist missionary monks en route to China. The monks followed the maritime trade route from the Indian subcontinent to China used by Indian traders. A number of Mahayana sutras and the Agamas were translated into classical Chinese there, including the Sutra of 42 Chapters and the Anapanasati. Zhao Ji was the birthplace of Buddhist missionary Kong Sengui, who was of Sogdian origin. Over the next 18 centuries, Vietnam and China shared many common features of cultural, philosophical, and religious heritage. This was due to geographical proximity to one another and Vietnam being annexed twice by China. Vietnamese Buddhism is thus related to Chinese Buddhism in general, and to some extent reflects the formation of Chinese Buddhism after the Song dynasty. Theravada Buddhism, on the other hand, would become incorporated through the southern annexation of Khmer people and territories. During the Din dynasty 968 Buddhism was recognized by the state as an official faith approximately 971, reflecting the high esteem of Buddhist faith held by the Vietnamese monarchs. The early La dynasty also afforded the same recognition to the Buddhist church. The growth of Buddhism during this time is attributed to the recruitment of erudite monks to the court as the newly independent state needed an ideological basis on which to build a country. Subsequently, this role was ceded to Confucianism. Vietnamese Buddhism reached its zenith during the Li dynasty, 1009 to 1225, beginning with the founder Li Tai Tu, who was raised in a pagoda. All of the kings during the Li dynasty professed and sanctioned Buddhism as the state religion. This endured with the Tran dynasty 1225 but Buddhism had to share the stage with the emerging growth of Confucianism. By the 15th century, Buddhism fell out of favor with the court during the later La dynasty, although still popular with the masses. Officials like Le Quat attacked it as heretical and wasteful. It was not until the 19th century that Buddhism regained some stature under the Nguyen dynasty who accorded royal support. A Buddhist revival movement Chan Hung Fat Gao emerged in the 1920s in an effort to reform and strengthen institutional Buddhism, which had lost grounds to the spread of Christianity and the growth of other faiths under French rule. The movement continued into the 1950s. Topic. Republican period From 1954 to 1975, Vietnam was split into North and South Vietnam. In a country where surveys of the religious composition estimated the Buddhist majority to be approximately 50 to 70 percent, President Go Dinh Diem's policies generated claims of religious bias. As a member of the Catholic Vietnamese minority, he pursued pro-Catholic policies that antagonized many Buddhists. In May 1963, in the central city of Hue, where Diem's elder brother Go Din Thuc was the archbishop, Buddhists were prohibited from displaying Buddhist flags during Vesak celebrations yet few days earlier, Catholics were allowed to fly religious flags at a celebration in honor of the newly seated archbishop. This led to widespread protest against the government, troops were sent in and nine civilians were killed in the confrontations. This led to mass rallies against Diem's government, termed as the Buddhist crisis. The conflicts culminated in Thich Quang Duc's self-immolation. President Diem's younger brother Go Din Nhu favored strong armed tactics and Army of the Republic of Vietnam special forces engaged in the Zay Loi Pagoda raids, killing estimated hundreds. Dismayed by the public outrage, the U.S. government withdrew support for the regime. 
President Diem was deposed and killed in the 1963 coup. Political strength of the Buddhists grew in the 1960s as the different schools and orders convened to form the Unified Buddhist Church of Vietnam. Leaders of the church like Thich Tri Quang had considerable sway in national politics, at times challenging the government. With the fall of Saigon in 1975, the whole nation came under communist rule. Many religious practices, including Buddhism, were discouraged. In the north, the government had created the United Buddhist Sangha of Vietnam, co opting the clergy to function under government auspices, but in the south, the Unified Buddhist Sangha of Vietnam still held sway and openly challenged the communist government. The Sangha leadership was thus arrested and imprisoned, Sangha properties were seized, and the Sangha itself was outlawed. In its place was the newly created Buddhist Sangha of Vietnam, designed as the final union of all Buddhist organizations, now under full state control. Since Doi Moi 1986, many reforms have allowed Buddhism to be practiced relatively unhindered by the individuals. However no organized Sangha is allowed to function independent of the state. It was not until 2007 that Pure Land Buddhism, the most widespread type of Buddhism practiced in Vietnam, was officially recognized as a religion by the government. Thich Quang Du the Patriarch of the Unified Buddhist Sangha, once imprisoned, remains under surveillance and restricted in his travels. Today, Buddhists are found throughout in Vietnam, from north to south. Buddhism is the single largest organized religion in Vietnam, with somewhere between 9% and 16% of the population identifying themselves as Buddhist. Overseas After the fall of South Vietnam to communism in 1975 at the end of the Vietnam War, the first major Buddhist community appeared in North America. Since this time, the North American Vietnamese Buddhist community has grown to some 160 temples and centers. Proselytizing is not a priority. The most famous practitioner of synchronized Vietnamese theme in the West is Thich Nhat Hanh who has authored dozens of books and founded the Dharma Center Plum Village in France together with his colleague, Bisuni and Zen master Chan Kong. According to Nguyen and Barber, Thich Nhat Hanh's fame in the Western world as a proponent of engaged Buddhism and a new theme style has no affinity with or any foundation in traditional Vietnamese Buddhist practices. And according to Alexander Sousi, 2007, his style of Zen Buddhism is not reflective of actual Vietnamese Buddhism. Thich Nhat Hanh often recounts about his early theme practices in Vietnam in his Dharma talks saying that he continued and developed this practice in the West which has a distinctive Vietnamese theme flavor. Thich Nhat Hanh's Buddhist teachings have started to return to a Vietnam where the Buddhist landscape is now being shaped by the combined Vietnamese and westernized Buddhism that is focused more on the meditative practices. Practice. Followers in Vietnam practice differing traditions without any problem or sense of contradiction. Few Vietnamese Buddhists would identify themselves as a particular kind of Buddhism, as a Christian might identify him or herself by a denomination, for example. Although Vietnamese Buddhism does not have a strong centralized structure, the practice is similar throughout the country at almost any temple. Gaining merit is the most common and essential practice in Vietnamese Buddhism with a belief that liberation takes place with the help of Buddhas and Bodhisattvas. Buddhist monks commonly chant sutras, recite Buddha's names particularly Amitabha, doing repentance and praying for rebirth in the Pure Land. The Lotus Sutra and the Amitabha Sutra are the most commonly used sutras. Most sutras and texts are in classical Chinese and are merely recited with sino zenic pronunciations, making them incomprehensible to most practitioners. Three services are practiced regularly at dawn, noon, and dusk. They include sutra reading with neem fat and dharani recitation and kin han walking meditation. Laypeople at times join the services at the temple and some devout Buddhist practice the services at home. Special services such as Sam Nguyen, Sam Hoi confession, repentance, takes place on the full moon and new moon each month. Neem fat practice is one way of repenting and purifying bad karma. Buddhist temples also serve a significant role in death rituals and funerals among overseas Vietnamese. Topic: Branches. Topic: Mahayana traditions. 
The overall doctrinal position of Vietnamese Buddhism is the inclusive system of Tiantai, with the higher metaphysics informed by the Huayan school Vietnamese, Hoa Niem. however, the orientation of Vietnamese Buddhism is syncretic without making such distinctions. Therefore, modern practice of Vietnamese Buddhism can be very eclectic, including elements from Thien Chan Buddhism, Thien Thai Tiantai, Tin Du Pure Land Buddhism, and popular practices from Vajrayana. According to Charles Prebish, many English language sources contain misconceptions regarding the variety of doctrines and practices in traditional Vietnamese Buddhism. We will not consider here the misconceptions presented in most English language materials regarding the distinctness of these schools, and the strong inclination for syncretism found in Chinese and Vietnamese Buddhism. Much has been said about the incompatibility of different schools and their difficulty in successfully communicating with each other and combining their doctrines. None of these theories reflects realities in Vietnam or China past or present. The followers have no problem practicing the various teachings at the same time. The methods of Pure Land Buddhism are perhaps the most widespread within Vietnam. It is common for practitioners to recite sutras, chants and dharanis looking to gain protection through bodhisattvas or dharmapalas. It is a devotional practice where those practicing put their faith in Amitabha Vietnamese, a di da. Followers believe they will gain rebirth in his pure land by chanting Amitabha's name. A pure land is a Buddha realm where one can more easily attain enlightenment since suffering does not exist there. Many religious organizations have not been recognized by the government, however, in 2007, with 1.5 million followers, the Vietnamese Pure Land Buddhism Association received official recognition as an independent and legal religious organization. Thien is the Sino Zenic pronunciation of Chan Japanese Zen and is derived ultimately from Sanskrit. Diana". The traditional account is that in 580, an Indian monk named Vinataruchi Vietnamese, da Lu Kai, traveled to Vietnam after completing his studies with Senkan, the third patriarch of Chan Buddhism. This would be the first appearance of Thien. The sect that Vinataruchi and his lone Vietnamese disciple founded would become known as the oldest branch of Thien. After a period of obscurity, the Vinataruchi school became one of the most influential Buddhist groups in Vietnam by the 10th century, particularly under the patriarch Van Han died 1018. Other early Vietnamese Zen schools included the Vo Nan Thong, which was associated with the teaching of Mizu Daoyi, and the Thao Duong, which incorporated Nianfo chanting techniques, both were founded by Chinese monks. A new Thien school was founded by King Tran Nan Tong (1258–1308), called the Truk Lam (Bamboo Grove) school. It evinced a deep influence from Confucian and Taoist philosophy. Nevertheless, Truk Lam's prestige waned over the following centuries as Confucianism became dominant in the royal court. In the 17th century, a group of Chinese monks led by Nguyen Thu introduced the Ling school (Lam Te. A more native offshoot of Lam Te, the Lu Quan school, was founded in the 18th century and has since been the predominant branch of Vietnamese Zen. Some scholars argue that the importance and prevalence of Thien in Vietnam has been greatly overstated and that it has played more of an elite rhetorical role than a role of practice. The Thien Win Tap An Chinese, Chan Yuan Ji, collection of outstanding figures of the Zen garden has been the dominant text used to legitimize Thien lineages and history within Vietnam. However, Quang Tu Nguyen's Zen in Medieval Vietnam, a study and translation of the Thien Tap An 1997 gives a critical review of how the text has been used to create a history of Zen Buddhism that is fraught with discontinuity. Modern Buddhist practices are not reflective of a Thien past. In Vietnam, common practices are more focused on ritual and devotion than the Thien focus on meditation. Nonetheless, Vietnam is seeing a steady growth in Zen today. Two figures who have been responsible for this increased interest in Thien are Thich Nhat Hanh, currently residing in France, and Thich Thanh Tu, who lives in Da Lot. Topic. Theravada The central and southern part of present-day Vietnam were originally inhabited by the Chams and the Khmer people, respectively, who followed both a syncretic Saiva Mahayana see History of Buddhism in Cambodia and Theravada Buddhism. Dai Viet annexed the land occupied by the Cham during conquests in the 15th century and by the 18th century had also annexed the southern portion of the Khmer Empire, resulting in the current borders of Vietnam. 
From that time onward, the dominant Dai Viet Vietnamese followed the Mahayana tradition while the Khmer continued to practice Theravada. In the 1920s and 1930s, there were a number of movements in Vietnam for the revival and modernization of Buddhist activities. Together with the reorganization of Mahayana establishments, there developed a growing interest in Theravadan meditation as well as the Pali Canon. These were then available in French. Among the pioneers who brought Theravada Buddhism to the ethnic Dai Viet was a young veterinary doctor named Le Van Giang. He was born in the south, received higher education in Hanoi, and after graduation, was sent to Phnom Penh, Cambodia, to work for the French government. During that time he became especially interested in Theravada Buddhist practice. Subsequently, he decided to ordain and took the Dhamma name of Ho Tong In 1940, upon an invitation from a group of lay Buddhists led by Nguyen Van Hu, he went back to Vietnam in order to help establish the first Theravada temple for Vietnamese Buddhists at Go Dua, Tu Duc now a district of Ho Chi Minh City. The temple was named Bu Quang Ratana Ramsarama. The temple was destroyed by French troops in 1947, and was later rebuilt in 1951. At Bu Quang Temple, together with a group of Vietnamese bhikkhus who had received training in Cambodia such as Thien Luat, Bu Chan, Kim Quang and Joy Niem, Ho Tong began teaching Buddhism in their native Vietnamese. He also translated many Buddhist materials from the Pali Canon, and Theravada became part of Vietnamese Buddhist activity in the country. In 1949-1950, Ho Tong together with Nguyen Van Hu and supporters built a new temple in Saigon now Ho Chi Minh City, named Kentucky Vien Tu This temple became the center of Theravada activities in Vietnam, which continued to attract increasing interest among the Vietnamese Buddhists. In 1957, the Vietnamese Theravada Buddhist Sangha Congregation was formally established and recognized by the government, and the Theravada Sangha elected Venerable Ho Tong as its first president, or Sangharaja. From Saigon, the Theravada movement spread to other provinces, and soon, a number of Theravada temples for ethnic Viet Buddhists were established in many areas in the south and central parts of Vietnam. There are 529 Theravada temples throughout the country, of which 19 were located in Ho Chi Minh City and its vicinity. Besides Bu Quang and Kentucky Vien temples, other well-known temples are Bu Long, Giat Quang, Tam Bao da Nong, Thien Lam and Huyen Kong Hu, and the large Thich Ca Phat Dai in Vung Tau. Topic see also Dharma Transmission Buddhist temples in Hu Topic Notes Topic References Nguyen, Quang Tu and A. W. Barber Vietnamese Buddhism in North America, Tradition and Acculturation, in Charles S. Prebish and Kenneth K. Tanaka eds, The Faces of Buddhism in America. Berkeley, University of California Press, 1998. Nguyen, Quang Tu. Zen in Medieval Vietnam, A Study of the Thien Nguyen Tap An. Honolulu, University of Hawaii Press, 1997. Nguyen Thai Thursday 2008, History of Buddhism in Vietnam, Cultural Heritage and Contemporary Change, Southeast Asia, CRVP, ISBN 15651809846 Sousi, Alexander. Nationalism, Globalism and the Re-Establishment of the Truk Lam Thien Sect in Northern Vietnam, Philip Taylor ed. Modernity and Re-Enchantment, Religion in Post-Revolutionary Vietnam. Institute of Southeast Asian Studies, Singapore, 2007 Topic Further reading DeVito, Elise A. 2009. The Influence of Chinese Master Taishu on Buddhism in Vietnam, Journal of Global Buddhism 10, 413-458 Buswell, Robert E., ed. 2004. Vietnam, an Encyclopedia of Buddhism. Macmillan Reference USA. p. 879-883. ISBN 0-02-865718-7. CS1 maint, Extra Text, Authors List link. Topic. External links Fat Hawk Online Media Related to Buddhism in Vietnam at Wikimedia Commons